Good evening, and welcome to a special edition of the MacWorks Weekly Update. Today, Market Circle released Daylight 4.1. Um, if you are a Daylight user, this is great information that you need to know. Um, Daylight 4.1 should be available on the App Store soon. Um, but you can get it directly from Market Circle's website um, if you would like to head over there. And there's a lot of great new stuff. We're going to dive right in with what's new in Daylight 4.1. First is the quick search is greatly improved. Um, yeah, Market Circle was able to improve that by indexing nearly everything in Daylight and making it searchable from the search field. Uh, whatever you want to find nice. is only a quick search away. You know, your notes, your emails, forms, custom fields and a whole bunch more have been added to the Daylight Search Index. Um, you can even special, specify a global hotkey, so system-wide throughout the OS that you can hit yep. and then do a quick search in Daylight. There are also some new filters um, for better list management. That's a huge thing for me. Um, being able to filter out options including job title, department, group details, uh, ticker symbols, etc. Um, in order to help you build a more powerful list. You can also now uh, publish your daylight calendar uh, as one calendar or as separate calendars uh, based on the category. Printing is very improved as well. Um, you can specify the page size, uh, date range, font size, mini calendar, and the legend. Um, other printing improvements include labels for person, company, project, opportunity, and groups. You can even print envelopes from the person and company fields. So you could do all your Machines. mailings from just <laughs> your daily contact. Out. Done. You can actually have a developer now uh, build you specialized reports using HTML, CSS, JavaScript, etc. Um, it's it's a way for you to control how you look at daylight. But you do have to have a web guy who's going to be able to know how to build all that stuff for you and integrate it with daylight. You can create a task from anywhere in the OS uh, using global hotkey, much like the search feature. You can set up the global hotkey however you prefer um, for a task or to do a search. It, it, global hotkeys are pretty awesome. You also have the option to dismiss all non-invitation alerts from the notification list. So we get <laughs> all sorts of complaints from people who are getting uh, alerts for every single thing that happens within daylight. And if you have, uh, uh, say, 50 alerts there, instead of having to click them one by one and dismiss them, yeah. you can now dismiss anything that's a non-invitation. Daylight Mail Assistant, or DMA, some may know it, uh, works with exchange accounts in the 4.1 update. Shazimo. Uh, you can turn on auto-linking from your DMA preferences in Apple Mail. Uh, we've been using it and to great results, right? Yeah. If you're sharing calendars through a uh, CalDAV for your users, you can actually now ta uh, pass through your tasks to the Reminders app on iOS and Mountain Lion. You can even use Siri on your iPhone um, or even iPad at this point to set up a task and it can sync then back to daylight. Which is super cool. Awesome. Um, from the admin side of things, you can delete a user's local storage from the database pane in daylight server. Um, that's huge for, you know, you lost a, an employee or you fired them or whatever. You don't want them to be able to access the local storage that they have on their computer. Yep. So exactly. just get rid of it. You can use other apps with Daylight. A new alt app called uh, Cobook. Mm -hmm. Cobook, right? Yep. Uh, Cobook seems really appealing and uh, it's going to sync with all your Daylight contacts when configured properly. Everything that Cobook is capable can then sync with your daylight uh, contact record, including you know Facebook, Twitter, all that stuff. Cobook is really kind of a social media guru um, for your contacts. So cool. All really of just flow together. Yeah, now don't great. forget, um, because of the new indexing necessary for the quick search, the client side update, so that means every one of your users, uh, when they update to daylight 4.1, it could take up to an hour maybe even more for it to complete that update process because it does index, like I mentioned, everything. And it doesn't slow down search, so I want to make that clear too. It doesn't slow down anything. Your database runs beautifully, yeah. uh, but it does take a little while in order to do the update itself. Yeah. So plan according and make sure that you back everything up <laughs> before <laughs> you pull the trigger. With every upgrade, things can go wrong. So having a good backup of your old stuff is going to be great. Um, we haven't seen any issues yet, but who knows? Knock on wood, right. it can happen. Yeah, absolutely. That's all we have for you here on Daylight 4.1. There are hundreds and hundreds of things that were fixed and improved. Those are just kind of the things that we think you'll be interested Some in. Some highlights. Yeah. Have a good night. <laughs> have a great night. Thanks.